Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video I'm going to show you how to create a typing effect using HTML and CSS. So here's an example of what we're going to be building. Note how the string right here looks like it's being typed out. So let me show you this one more time. And so we're going to be creating this using CSS animations and keyframes. So this is a pure CSS solution. But so before we begin, let's talk about how this typing effect is created. So to create this typing effect that we see, we increment the width of an element from 0% to 100% and style the element's border to mimic a blinking cursor. So we can see this is essentially the width increasing from 0 to 100, and at the same time, we've animated the right border. So this is the right border, this element, that's blinking. And this makes it look like a cursor. But so let's set this up now. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to create a second file called index2.html. And initially, I'm just going to copy in the HTML structure. So just like this. And what we have here is essentially this class typing is used to create the typing effect. So this here is what's going to be typed out because of this class. And we also wrap it with a div with display set to inline block. And this is so that the div wraps the text in the h1 tag. And this will essentially prevent our cursor from moving across the entire width of the page. But to start out, let's create the blinking cursor. So what we see right here. And we will do this all inside a style tag right here. So just call style. And first, let's create a global variable to represent the color of our cursor. And we're going to just name it cursor color. And we're going to set it to, to white. And actually, let me open this with live server now so we can see the changes going on. And let me also set, real quick, the background color of the body to be a grayish color. Sweet, so there's where we are now. And now, let's make our cursor the right border of our h2 tag right here with the class typing. So we're just going to paste this in. Now we can see our right border right here. Now let's add a blinking animation. And we're going to do that using the CSS animation property. So in here, we're just going to add animation. And so what this does is we're using a shorthand version of all the animation CSS properties. We're setting the name of it to be blinking, which can be anything you want to. This is essentially the animation name property. We're making this animation last one second, and this is the animation duration. We are then setting the animation timing function to be steps one end, and this property specifies the time an animation takes to go from one set of CSS styles to another. And setting it to steps and then one end means the function will iterate once, and the animation change will occur at the end of the interval. We also set this property right here which is animation iteration count, and we set it to infinite. And this tells the browser to repeat the animation infinitely. But now that we have that built, let's use our keyframes rule to bring this animation to life. So I'm just gonna paste this in right here. So this at keyframes rule right here controls the steps of a CSS animation. And here we are saying that at the start, so 0%, and end, 100% of the animation, let's set the border color to transparent. So at the beginning of the animation, set it to transparent. At the end, set it to transparent. But halfway through the animation, set it to the cursor color. And now we can see our cursor blinking. So now that we've done that, let's create our typing animation. And we are going to add this to the same animation property right here. And we can do that by using a comma and just adding another set of animations. Here, we call the animation typing. This is the animation name property. We set the duration to four seconds. We set the timing function now to steps 40 and end, and this means the function will iterate 40 times, and the animation change, once again, will occur at the end of the interval. And now let's once again bring this animation to life using keyframes. So I'm going to place that in right here. And so now, at the beginning of the animation, the width of the h1 tag will be 0, and then at the end, the width of the h1, or actually I believe it's an h2 tag, will be 100%. So if we restart this, we can see our width is zero, and we're slowly going to the width of everything, which is basically how long the string of text is. But so now we just need to set some styles so that we don't have like some word wrapping here and things are being displayed. So the way we can do this first is we want to set overflow to be hidden. So if we set overflow to hidden, now we can see how when the width is smaller than the content, it's hidden. So at the very beginning, everything's disappeared. But now we want to make sure that everything is just on one line as opposed to breaking down into multiple lines. And we can do this 
by setting white space to no wrap. So if we do that, now we can see it hasn't wrapped down and it's just going in a straight line. What this white space no wrap really means is that the text will continue on the same line until a BR or break tag is encountered. But this is all it takes to create this typing animation. You can of course improve this by altering properties such as letter spacing, word spacing, messing with the duration of some of these, but this looks pretty good for just what it is. But this is the end of my video. If you want to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. The link is in the description. But besides that, thank you and have a good one.